Hello, everybody. This is the Jenkins Pipeline Authoring SIG meeting for February 28th, 2020. This is the Americas meeting. My name is Marky. Uh, welcome, everybody. I am going to drop a lazy link to the notes. If you could just go in there and add who you are. So we just keep a record of attendance. I've also put that in the Getter channel. I do like to start off every meeting with a just a reminder that we do have a Jenkins code of conduct and it's just uh, to say be nice and don't be a jerk. And with that, I am going to turn it over to Liam who always runs our meetings. <laughs> I'm super thankful for that. Runs is such Run. a, yeah, I know. a strong word. I don't know about that. Wait, where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, run away, run away. Yeah. <laughs> So awesome. Take it away. All righty. So uh, let's see here. Last time, uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to have, if people can say their names and say hello, uh, I, I will start off. Uh, and I actually, no, I'll just introduce a couple people that, that, uh, to start with. Uh, Devin and Carl are here from uh, CloudBees. Uh, we work together on the pipeline team at CloudBees, uh, so they're also joining us today. And Mark uh, is uh, back again, I'll also here from uh, doing evangelism now, right? It's evangelism, he's also the maintainer of the Git plugin. Um, and uh, let's see here, Marky is a contributor in general, and uh, you know, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting your name, and it's really bad. It's really yeah. bad. No, not, um, who did I miss? Jeff, Jeff. Jeff, thank you. Sorry, I'm looking at Jeff, a uh, long time Jeff contributor. Is actually ge geographically very close to you, aren't you, Jeff? I think you're in yeah, the Yeah, like, we're, we're virtually neighbors compared to everyone else here. Yep, definitely. Yeah, and and I feel bad about about like not seeing you more often, in fact, and not getting in touch more. It's like, ah. So um, you're just across the water, right? Yep, Bainbridge Island. There you go. Okay, other water than I was thinking, but there you go. Um, it's all water out here, by the way, people. Um, Pacific Northwest, any, are you across the water? Yes, which water? So, um, it's lots of water. Yeah, there's a on lake the on one side and the, the sound on the other, and then, yeah. From the sky. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, so, uh, Jeff, I think the last time you and I saw each other face to face was at uh, the hackathon a couple of years ago. Was that right? Or did, did you, did uh, you, did we, you go to we, Jenkins we, World? Jenkins I was at De DevOps World this last time. Were you there? Okay. Yes, I was. So we, we yeah. said hello there. But uh. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, last time we were talking about personas and uh, looking at what we were going to, how, how they could help us focus our next steps. Um, we were going to sort of take some time to uh, look over the five personas that we had and see what we could uh, glean from them and map them to, Mark, Marky was talking about mapping them to the uh, maturity, maturity doc. The maturity doc, yes. Mm -hmm. So. We also talked about adding like a few of the questions. Right, the kind of questions persona. they would ask, that's right. I, I added some into the personas as well. And I believe that, uh, well, he's not here. I, I do believe that uh, Stephen also added some. Cool. Uh, let's see. So, and I should actually be able to answer, do some of these. We, huh, where'd they go? Looks like, no, yes. Did, are they in the notes maybe? Nope. I think we're missing some. Maybe I'm. Am I looking at an old version of it? That's the one in the doc. I remember there there being like you know the cut the cut and paste developer. Um, yeah, I mean I've stuff like that. I am surprised that there's not more there. Um, yeah. Okay, Marky. I don't know if you have a a different link than what I have. No, this is the same link. I'm going through. Give me just a second. Editing, nope. Uh, no, all the questions are not there. Huh. Okay. Technology has betrayed us. Yes, it has. 
Okay, well, then that's we'll to going go to be, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be, <laughs> that's a new action item. Add there your you questions. Go. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then uh, did you get a chance to do the mapping that you were talking about? Or I, that... I did not get a chance yeah, to do the that's mapping. Fine. I also have another action item. Okay. Uh, so I, in, our, in the Zoom chat, I put a link to the maturity model as well as to the personas doc. Uh, I have two action, I three action items, I believe. I need to add my questions because they're not there. I need yeah. to also do the mapping to the maturity model. And I have the comms that I'm still working on. So we last talked about mm, oh, yes, the, sort of a combined blog post, uh, email to the uh, SIG mailing list about what we're up to. That way we can get sort of generate, and a Twitter post so we can generate more buzz and see if people want to come and join. So I have started that draft. I will cool. probably be able to share it with the team because I do want to have everybody's input and buy-in before we send that out. Mm -hmm. So I will have that probably out, I would say by, let's say by Monday, definitely before our next meeting. Because what I would like to do is finalize that on our next meeting and everybody gives a plus one to it and then we get that sent out. I will be full transparency on why I was doing that, going through meeting a bunch of people the last week and a half. I have been absolutely swamped. Oh yeah, that, that's, you know, life, Life, life happens. We're, yeah. we're not. That's the thing about these things. They're, they're all. None of us did. None of this is this. This is our, our first uh, job. It's usually additional things that we're doing. So, um, yeah. So that happens. So what I do want to add about the personas and all of the mappings that we're doing, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't want to sound negative when I say this. So I'm going to say it, and then I'm totally open to feedback. Don't flame me. Just. <laughs> Yeah, that's us. Uh, I do think before we move any further, we need to close this out. I think, yeah, should, yeah I, I don't want to spend a lot of time. Like, I think we've spent the last two or three meetings sort of going over it, and that's all super good. But I do think we need to close this portion out or at least get the MVP zero out into the world. Yeah, well, the, the point of this is so that we have a, um, partly so that we have a, a, a focusing, but also so that we're, so that we all have a, a, a common, uh, base uh, from which to discuss, right? So that we're so that we're talking from the same talking the same language, um, and so if we could, we could sit around for for another couple of weeks figuring out our language, and it doesn't necessarily get us anywhere. So exactly right. So I apologize if that comes off. Oh no, incorrectly. No, seems. Does anyone not agree with this? Uh, <laughs> okay, just checking. Um, for me, generally, silence means consent and, and agreement. So, yeah. Uh, or that you're muted. One of the two. Ag agree. <laughs> yeah. um, Sounds good to me. Right. So, so, everybody has the doc. It, with it Over the next few days or the next week, uh, if you can go in and add some questions into there, that would be really uh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, we do have the next meeting for uh, EMEA is Thursday at 6 a.m. Pacific time. Right. which I think translates to like 2 p.m. UTC, give or take an hour. Like that, yeah. Uh, I will be bringing this up in that meeting as well. So hopefully by Friday, we'll be able to have all of this and then, you know, that and the comms and then close it out. So uh, one thing we could do um, is uh, post the, I think the person who's most interested uh, that I've heard the most from uh, is Oleg. So I think we should probably just post the action item in the, and, and the link to the personas in, in the Gitter channel so that people can work asynchronously um, so that basically we can be in the process of closing this by the, the time the, EA, the EMEA uh, meeting rolls around and then really close it on the next day so that, that, so that everyone can hit the round, ground running from there. So then I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna take a different approach to my comms action item. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make the blog post step number two yeah. But by the end of today, what I'm going to do is not only get the email out, I'll also put a copy of that email in our Getter channel. And that way we're communicating to the masses sooner rather than later. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I think uh, the, 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 the point here, I mean, and you don't have to think of it. I would usually when I think of an email, I, I think of something that's going to take a while. So just, hey, we're starting this up. Here's the, here's the link to the personas that we're talking about. Please give us feedback and, or, you know, join it, right? can be really quick. Got um, it. 
right? Um, yep. And and then I agree, the blog post can be longer and like, you know talk a little later about, it. and we can sort of present the the personas and how we're how we're going about it. I will take the action item to get that email out to before the end of the day night okay. time. Okay, that's always a misnomer, but you know what I mean. Yeah, end of to end of working end of, day end of to, working day to day for you. Day yeah. Day, yeah. Um. Okay. So there's that. All right. Comms. Uh, Marky. Email. End of day to day. Uh. I guess I should ask. Uh, if people that are joining us had any specific topics that they wanted to bring up um, today, uh, or if you're just joining to, to be part of the discussion and anything new that any that, that was old business, we have a couple actions items from there. Is there a new new business? No new topic for me. I'm just eavesdropping. Okay, cool. Um, uh, how did you? I, actually, I can ask you. How did you feel about the discussion we had? Uh, the last time you were here about the documentation, did that was that helpful to you? Very. Thank okay. you. Yeah, okay. Will, and I love that you're continuing to evolve the personas. Thanks okay. very much. There you go. Um, all right. I do have another topic. Okay. Oleg placed in the channel early this morning about he'd like to start a, di uh, a doodle for the Pipeline is YAML project discussion for the Google Summer of Code. Uh, so. Okay. Um, sure. I, if, if uh, I hadn't responded to that yet, but, um, how many, how, how, how many, uh, acronyms can I use in one thing? GS, OC, <laughs> YAML, uh, pipeline as code. <laughs> um, anyways, um, so I think the first discussion topic on that, uh, for anybody who's watching this recording hmm. is uh, potential mentors. I would definitely have to be on that list. Yes. <laughs> and then sort of compulsory. So, I cannot, uh, I cannot dedicate my time to that no, project because no. I'm already on, I'm meant potential mentoring on three other projects. I'm, I, I'm definitely interested in being a, a potential mentor. And so it, it, for me, it depends on which other products get selected because I, I want to, um, to do to 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 be co-mentors on two to three this year. Um, I actually cut back on the GSOC admin stuff, so I had more time for mentoring. Hmm. Okay, dokey. Um, cool. Anybody else here? But we can, uh, you know, if anyone else is watching and they're interested in doing that, that's also uh, you're welcome to join in. Just drop a line in the Gator channel. Um, cool. So potential men mentors, um, for anyone that isn't already familiar with this, the idea here is to, in, instead of having pipeline, and this is just declarative pipeline, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, de for declarative pipeline, instead of doing it in Groovy, having a, a YAML version of it, uh, a, a YAML syntax that up to, a, at least up to a certain point is, is, is YAML and then, um, has some Groovy in some spots. Because eventually you have there's evaluations that that are going to require Groovy, but um, the question is how much. We'll see. I am going to post a link in the Zoom chat uh, to that project idea. If you want to add that to, actually, I will add it to the notes because I can do that. Okie dokie. Um, great. Um, this is a very uh, a long requested. Um, Feature. So it'll be interesting to see um, see how it goes and uh, whether it, it is something that fits well with the GSOC uh, size of project. I think. I mean, I think it's possible. Um, but yeah, the, the, this is actually something um, I I work for a fairly large company, and I've I've seen a couple of different people try their their own approach at layering this on top of Jenkins and. Um, it, it would be really cool if there was just a, like, like a Jenkins way to do it instead of having like like people trying to build their own thing. The, the other thing is, um, I, 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 um, there's people that I talk to that are talking about moving to something like Circle CI and 
And one of the reasons is the ease of configuration with YAML files. So, I mean, it, it, it helps Jenkins compete with some of these other things. Yeah. And kind of the, those are the two reasons I'm excited about it. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's also, I mean, some of the stuff we've talked about for um, uh, IDE tools, uh, there's much better, much easier ways to do uh, YAML uh, auto, auto completion, stuff like that for, a, for a number of things, right? Is, is, is that part of this project maybe, IDE tools or? No, I think there's another project that's doing ID, uh, IDE tools specifically to VS code. Oh, oh cool. That, oh, for the GSOC, really cool. yeah, okay. In, in December, we had a webinar with, with folks from T-Mobile who presented their uh, Poet framework that does basically this kind of thing with Pipeline as YAML. And then in January, we had a webinar with the people from, oh dear, how embarrassing, Booz Allen Hamilton, who have an alternate technique for doing Pipeline as YAML. Um, Both of them have much higher level concepts. It's not just Pipeline as YAML. They've got a much, much bigger concept that both of those are using, but don't, don't forget them. Yeah, that is uh, Steven's project. Steven yeah. is not here, but Steven uses the Jenkins template, or he built and maintains the Jenkins templating engine. Yeah. Uh, Mark, uh, could you, uh, you just mentioned those two. Could you post the, paste the links in under the related presentations here? Sure. Um, I will just, because I, I think anyone that's wanting to get familiar with kind of the technology in this area would, uh, would want to take a look at that. Thanks a lot. Um, and there, there is an IDE tools, GSOC, uh, VS Code IDE, yeah. Is, is that my hearing that right? Sorry, I was on mute and yeah. I believe there is something that a student is currently working on. I'm trying to verify that right now. Uh, okay, cool. Um, something to think about as well. So, so there, was a, there was a community bridge project that just concluded that's what I'm thinking. That's Sladen Nunes did the and just presented that in a webinar in the last few days, uh, along with a presentation by Tim Jacome. Uh, of, yeah. And those are both recorded as well. So, and I can, if you put those in, I can paste links into there as well when I find them. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. I've got a space for it here for you. I'll definitely be going back and looking at these. Uh, I'm a, I feel like I'm a little bit behind, behind the curve on, on some of what's, the, what's been going on in the community. Um, so, great. What else? Any, uh, what other topics do we have? Main things, the questions. Um, that's... From last time, there it is. Does anyone want to specifically uh, say, you know, I'll do the majority of any one persona? Do we want to? Because I think it's it's probably harder for just like hey, everyone kind of do some. It's like let's like obviously we should, but if uh, if we each take one or something, that might be that might get more traction. Um, if anyone's willing. I would be willing to do that. You mean as far as the questions are concerned? Yeah, as far as writing the, like saying, like having each person kind of take a, each of us take one, one persona that, uh, that they'll, they'll fill out the majority of the question. Ah, here are the questions. Like, were you just filling these out? Okay, you were just doing that. Okay. I was like, did they just suddenly appear? No, they've been working. on. Okay. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I'll take David. Mm. If, if nobody wants to jump on anything. Mm -hmm. Jury, what? Oh, David, David, right, got it, okay. Um, great. Um, I can try to do Yuri. It's been a while, but I think I can, I, I've been there. And I'm happy to take Olivia. Okay. Who's left? Uh, I think Erica. I'll, I'll, t I'll take Erica. Okay, cool. Um, okay. 
No I may need a reminder about the uh, the the backstory behind the I wasn't ops or I'm not ops or I'm enterprise DevOps sort of quotes after these descriptors. The the characteristics underneath are clear enough, but uh, that was just me. Uh, that was just me making making light. It's like some the the evangelist slash marketing side of me is like seeing the 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 ad of like I am DevOps right, and then you have somebody I'm not ops. <laughs> okay, okay, right? ten four. Got it. Like it was just random humor on my part. Right? Got it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> not meant as anything specific. Um, let's see here. So uh, did Lisa? Did we have someone for Lisa? Did I not? Add? Um, like I said, that one's sort of the, the least filled out too. So there's a little bit of space in there. Um, uh, okay. so, so I, I did have a question. Are, are we looking at just like pipeline, pipeline authoring questions? Because when, when I look at the personas, the, some, so especially some of the DevOpsy ones, um, my, 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 my first thoughts are more um, infrastructure type stuff. Do, do those uh, do those make sense, or are we not? Like what? Well, like um, how how do I how do I install and upgrade Jenkins? How often should I upgrade Jenkins and plugins? I mean, th those are like things that are on the mind of people like Yuri or maybe Erica. But are are we just considering what the, the questions they might ask about pipeline authoring? I mean, I would ra personally, I'd rather see the pipeline questions. But you know, I I, I think. All roads lead to pipeline eventually in in our world. Um, like there's yeah. eventually you're going to touch pipeline if you're doing Jenkins. You're going to touch pipeline pipelines in general. So yeah, I would say let's treat this as a brainstorming, right? Where it's like no, okay. we're just just whatever questions. If you end up with fifteen or whatever, I'd like to I'd like to see the the pipeline inside of them. But like if you're if the main ones are like how often do I upgrade and that's also reasonable, right? Um, because um, that tells us something. Okay. Yeah, because you know, if you're just thinking about the pipeline, uh, thinking about the upgrade question, an upgrade could affect a pipeline. That's a good point. <laughs> so all roads do lead to pipeline. Yeah, I mean, when we, yeah, exactly. They, they, you're you're interacting with the system, um, you know, or you upgrade something and it changes the way that the pipeline authoring works, or you know. Okay. Devin, do you have time to do any, uh, to, to like fill out some of the Lisa person? I mean, you are, you definitely fit that, that, that mole. If you don't have the time. I can cool. try. I don't know if I'll get to it, but. No, yeah. it's fine. This mm. is, this is just putting it on the list. And if you don't, you don't. Um, okay. Actually, Mark, you could also do this too, right? If you have any time. Sorry, I was defocused, focused entirely on the uh, getting the links put in. What was the topic? Oh, okay. So we're talking about um, uh, doing, uh, filling out the personas and uh, adding questions, basically writing in question, the kind of questions that this persona, person in this role would, would ask, right? Um, and I'm going to yeah, assign I'm, you to this. Um, I you am have a happy time. to ask. I am happy to ask questions, and I can even type the questions that I ask. You bet. No problem. Right. Um, and the the Lisa persona is the is the sort of the long term contributor. Already knows a, a ton about Jenkins, and this is just like sort of the, think about what as a as a as a long term contributor. What kind of questions do you ask these days? Um, as I said, a lot of this the, this persona actually probably needs some filling out too. Just as a like, hey. Um, this is more, I think what we're going to end up with in this persona is finding that there's, there's things to be done here, but they're, they're much uh, broader and more, I would say, ephemeral. There's, they're sort of like, well, we need to make it easier for people to write plugins or how to like, make it easier for, for people to add steps or whatever. They're, they're much sort of deeper uh, technical issues, right, or questions. Um, so whatever you, if you, whatever time you have, if you want to spend 15, 20 minutes on it at some point, um, that'd be great. Um, either one of you uh, or both. Uh, yeah, I just volunteered, I volunteered you. There you go. <laughs> Accepted. Okay. 
yeah, I, I was just, just, I just asked some of those kind of questions in the list not long ago. Hey, how do I write a unit test when I'm trying to add, add symbols to a plugin that I maintain? Uh, right. How do that, how do I assure that the symbols I added make sense, et cetera, et cetera. So mm -hmm. things that, that are a developer centered plugin developer centered. Yeah. I can have that level those. of, yeah, that, that level of thing. So yeah. Cool. All right. So that's our uh, sort of action items for next time. I'm going to put that under open items. Uh, that's probably going to, I'll just say action items. Cool. Um, having done that, what do people, uh, having figured out the personas, what do you, do people have thoughts about what, what they're what we're going to talk about next time um which is to say what do you think our next next steps are going to be that's my i think oh, that yeah. once we get the personas done and we have them sort of mapped on how how they look in the maturity model and uh i then think then we should start to maybe plan out what we want to do like yeah do we want to start trying to go through you know I don't know if we go through JIRA tickets and look at what people are saying out there and start to match that to maybe features and, and things like that. Or maybe we'll have community feedback from the communications that go out. But really what I'd like to do is start to figure out what the what we're going to start working towards. What features mm -hmm. are we going to start building? Exactly. What are we? Okay. And that may be a time where we start talking about what is the documentation that's out there to, to achieve these certain things. And do we achieve the, the fixing or making sure documentation is, is leading to the right avenues or paths? Okay, and then documentation. Okay, great. I just, I wanted to have so people can sort of let that ruminate for next time. Those are, those are I think it's a good sort of four or five uh, topics to sort of think into, um, see whether or not, which ones we, we wanna choose. Uh, yeah, so, and, and I guess once we have those questions, um, we can start that, basically those will, will, there'll be some features that will fall out of each of those. Like we'll probably be able to easily pick two or three, two or three actions that might help on each of those things. And then see if they're, see what, what has the most weight. Yep. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Great. By the way, I'm sort of thinking that we're sort of closing in on the end of the meeting. I don't know if anyone, like I, if we don't have more to cover today, then not, I'm not trying to run people off, but more just like. I have to drop off, but thanks very much. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, Mark. All righty, everybody. I don't think I don't have anything else. Uh, I did. Uh, everybody, please make a note that uh, Liam will be on vacation, so he will be missing not the uh, next meetings, but the following. Yeah, exactly. And if nobody else has anything, we'll go ahead and give everybody back uh, thirty um, yeah, or right. so minutes of their day. Thanks for joining, everyone, and uh, I look forward to the questions next time. All right. See you guys later. Thanks a lot. Cheers, everybody. Later,